Hey YouTube, last week in this uh, this home office here at my parents place, so better audio uh, and lighting and everything as of tomorrow, but I wanted to go one more team, Great League, uh, Polyrath, Gligar, Lickitung, and I used this team because I was looking around and PvP Poke is like, hey, it's the top ranked, all these are like top ranked safe Pokemon, and it all kind of work well together, right, because Lickitung is weak to fighting, and Polyrath and Gligar can deal with probably a lot of the fighters, um, Gligar is weak to like Ice and Polyrath and Blixxon can probably deal with that. Like they're just so good, such good Pokemon um, that even in bad matchups you're probably okay. So I put them together and they work pretty well overall. So let's look at some battles here. Um, so obviously a great league here, and they come into Quagsire, and that's the thing, right? Like Polyrath is generally super safe that you don't need to like get out immediately. Um, so I just take a move. It's got decent bulk. I am gonna go for the Skull. At this point, I could get out into Gligar. I probably should get out into Gligar just because Gligar has such a bad matchup against a Sand Slash. And this is fine because I've lowered the attack. It's low enough that I can just farm down and come out with at least one dig. So take a Stone Edge. That's fine. I've already lowered the attack. Um, this is just a Mud Bomb probably. So not anything I need to worry about here. So they're going to come back with the a Sand Slash. But I'm going to have at least one dig. And the question is, will I outpace them to two a dig? And it looks like for sure will I outpace paste them to two digs here so i'm gonna get one dig off they just let it go and they're gonna try and run with charizard which is not a terrible idea um when you know you're drawing dead in the front of a polyrath versus a sand slash uh but at this point it's just like shield advantage and as long as i shield one blast burn properly here there's no way that i'm gonna get outpaced here to the body slams and they know it too so kind of unlucky there for them Whimsicottly. Okay, so let's see if I go into Gligar immediately, which is not surprising. They're weak to um, Air Lace. Like, uh, sorry. I, I was say, I'm a bit surprised they stayed in. I'm not surprised that I'm doing so well. Uh, but if you don't have an immediate answer for Gligar, he could be very tricky to go against. And here we go, right? They have a Whisk Cash, which is okay because it will have Scald, which will do super effective. But the Mud Shots are resisted. And one Scald is unlikely to take me out, which means that I will be able to... I've already grabbed a Shield. Um, that actually did way more. I guess I'm a Shadow version. They throw on my bomb here. They don't need to. They probably could have farmed down there. But I will uh, come here with... Uh, yeah, Polyrath. I mean, they can only throw Mud Bombs. Those Mud Bombs will add up. Polyrath is, like, decently tanky. So the question is, do I want to take a second Mud Bomb come out with energy? And it looks like that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, just take the energy advantage here. We're even shield scenario. Because if the Whimsicott comes back in, I basically got two icy wins for it, right? So here's the first. Uh, probably not enough to take out. Uh, but the second one will. So let's see if they let this go and then try and go just sacrifice this and go with whatever is in the back here. Uh, no. So I'm going to immediately get out here because I don't want to get farmed. And they have a G Fisk, and this is where uh, just having the Lickitung's bulk and kind of speed here is gonna most likely take this matchup for me. It looks like they got decent IVs because these licks and power whips are gonna take at least two. I mean, it was always gonna take two, but this may take like two power whips plus a bunch more licks. Uh, show the first earthquake properly, which is very helpful. Could that already be a second earthquake, or is this just a rock slide? Already a second earthquake, so that's okay. Um, if they didn't take it out, I was going to put it very, very low. Yeah, they could get a rock slide off here, though. I don't think they can get to a er third earthquake before I, I take them out, especially with a little bit of a lick advantage. But, like, it's not a great matchup, and I over-farm. I had the move. I don't know why I over-farm there. So now I have to take a seed bomb, but I am able to counter down and then counter down the g Fisk here. But, yeah, I should not have not thrown the uh the uh body slam there so they had a bad lead they switch into trevenant which this is why like are so good just like goodbye grass what are you gonna come in acid on sure but i'm not gonna get a dick off on you to push you very low so this is gonna do a good amount of damage here they let it go again they're just gonna have to I think both opponents made the right play. I think you probably don't want to. I 
I think you have to try and run two shield whatever's in the back. But you can't. Yeah, you can't do that. You cannot, like... They're going to farm down, but at, but at what what cost? You lost a shield. You know my polygraph's going to come back in and just take anything here. Maybe you try and bank the move, but now you're down shield advantage. And shield advantage, like, you know I have this. So I could, like, just stay in this matchup and double shield if I wanted to. But I don't need to. I can just now... Throw that, grab a shield, come in here, and then they have, they're trying to, like, I can basically two shield flex on this opponent if I want to. So there's one body slam, just take this out. Um, Bastion's gonna come back in, it has a bunch of moves, but, like, who cares? Like, the game is, yeah. That was a pretty hard counter team. I mean, not hard counter, it's not like Lickitung hard counters for Dragonair, but. So, bad lead, come in, uh, Lickitung. And just get hit with a Vigarath, which is probably the hardest answer to Lickitung as a safe swap. So, terrible lead against Lantern. Terrible safe swap here. Uh, they're going to be able to come out with energy and do a lot of damage on the Polyrath. Because they're going to get off multiple body stamps here. Because they can just counter me down. Uh, yeah, I think they probably could have countered me down. They'll still have at least one body slam for Polyrath. Uh, I don't know if they get to two now. Before I counted them down. But now the thing is like... I still need to just try and run with Clear on the back. And they give up Switch. Um, so I'm going to stay here and ship. Just because like... Obviously Gligar does not have an amazing matchup against Lantern. And I want to see if I can get the attack fall. These counters are adding up, right? So got them low enough that and the attacks lowered they try to bait me uh i guess it's not a terrible idea but i'm not going to stay in there and let them just farm me down so i come in here even though their attack is lowered surf is probably going to hurt the most like i don't know what's in the back yet so i'm assuming surf is probably going to be the hardest hitting move that i need to worry about even if it is lowered uh, i just go for the wing attack because, i mean air lace because they're so low and that's why i'm going to double shield here just because my assumption is they don't have a second answer in the back to this for Gligar. Like, it's not, hopefully it's not like an ice or something. But if they're double shielding here, they really want to get the Surf off. And like, rightfully so, I think this will do a good amount of damage here. And out comes their own Gligar. Can I get to the... I cannot. So that's the top left. Yeah, so that's kind of a tough matchup there. So I guess Lantern on the lead is a bit tricky. Like... Lickitung is not bad. They just had the they just had like the hardest counter for Lickitung in this game, pretty much. Not the hardest, but like one of the hardest. Um, like, what would be a harder answer? I guess like Obstagoon, which triples us the lick, maybe. But this matchup was interesting because it it the question is it's who outpaces who here. Uh, and I got to the move, but then I'm like, you know what? I think it's probably better just for me to farm down, have a move, because even in bad matchups, I still kill. And and the ice water cover is so nice. Like, obviously, there's a couple things that resist everything. Like, just the, I mean, waters will resist everything. Just being able to do that is huge. Uh, because it farmed up a bunch, I'd rather just kind of take it on Lick Tongue, because it would still kind of hurt Gligar. Uh, but at this point, I now kind of luckily aligned Gligar into um, Claude Sire, which has absolutely nothing to throw at me. Everything is resisted. Um, so it's just like, yeah, this game is very over. I think, I think you want to go poison there. I don't, hopefully this doesn't, I'm sorry if my audio this week has been very messed up. I should have brought my other microphone. My thought process was, my thought process was I don't have a lot of stuff. I don't have a lot of uh, room to pack everything. So I, I wanted to just do it um, with this little microphone. A little microphone works well. But what I didn't take into consideration is a little microphone works well when you're doing like just videos. As opposed to now like I'm trying to go through OBS. So if it's like kind of messed up, I apologize. Yeah, flying double resists ground. And this is... How, how do you memorize this? So poison, single resist, ground double resist. So I think in that Claude Sire matchup, you have to throw the Sludge Bomb. How I know this is just from even playing the first Pokemon Red games, 
is when you used to throw ground type moves at flyers, um, if they were like flying Pokemon, all ground moves would like not even affect them. So that's how they don't have any moves like that in this game where just like it doesn't affect the Pokemon. So that's kind of how I think about it. Like ground is just like very, very bad <laughs> against flying. Um, so this one, I, this one was a read. And the thought process on this read, which I think I read right here was Polyeth is on the lead for them. Um, which means that they have, yeah, Polyrath is on the lead and Lickitung is your safe swap. So Polyrath is main weakness is flying. So you probably have a flying answer in the back. So if you have a flying answer in the back, it's, it could potentially be ice. So I was worried about, um, I was worried about Frostlass and I, I, I got that correctly. That was a, that was a good read in this matchup. Unfortunately, if you've ever been doing against Frostlass with the, Frostlass with energy advantage, um, it's rough. Uh, so I baited once thinking that I can then get to a power whip to take this out. Um, and this is why you should probably start counting. Cause then if I knew that I couldn't, I would have hundred percent just thrown a resist, a double resist body slam. Cause I would have taken it low enough. Um, but I still get outpaced here. So even though I made the proper read, I'm still gonna lose this matchup. So Polyrath against Dragonair, this is a good lead just in the fact that like the counters and the Dragon Breath damage basically do the same, uh, but you're going to get to the Icy Wind and lower their attack. So when you're basically doing the same fast move damage and now you lower their attack, it puts you at a very nice advantage. So the question is, do I want to deal with, do I want to take that advantage? It looks like the answer is no. And I think that just comes down to uh, the safety of this team. Like I could shield it and probably just like maybe a pace there. Uh, but I decided to take that shield advantage and give up switch, which I would normally never recommend to do. Um, that was my game lagging. Yes. You just saw the Vigoroth get four counters through there because, um, although you didn't see the animation, I was pressing. So this is BS. I should have definitely got to the aerials before they got to the second body slam. Um, so now I'll come in here and get a head on energy here, which is a good old come, I guess. Uh, they have a Trevin in the back and they top left. So screw you game. Anyways, Skarmory is a good lead. And I mean, yes, you're weak to flying, but you are a water. So you resist the steel wing. So by the time they get to the sky attack, you are already chipping huge. I can shield this and just farm down. So there's a sky attack. Uh, and no, they're not going to allow me to farm down. This was a very, 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 very bad like play. I should be coming in um, Skarmory immediately. So why at this point, let me stop it here. Um, you should be coming in. Sorry, not Skarmory. You should be coming Gligar immediately here. Um, counters resisted, Mud Bombs resisted. At best, they have Shadow Ball, which I think this is running. I think this team is ABB weak to fine. So I think you have Toxic Crow come in, uh, and then you have Skarmory deal with like a Gligar or Flyer, and then you have the other fighter in the back. So I kind of read this, but I still should have made the switch sooner. But once I kind of read like, okay, it's too slow on the switch, Let's just stay in Polyrath, because I chipped it a bunch, force them to throw, um, come in here so that I'm not switch locked. So I'll take a Shadow Ball, um, and if the Skarmy comes back in, I can just come in lick a tongue and just kind of lick down and come out with some energy there. Um, and they come into straight to Swampert, which is interesting. Um, so I'm going to just try and chip this, and I'm see if I stay in this as long, or do I try and catch a Hydro? Yeah. I try to catch a Hydro because it is a non-Shadow Swampert, and having played this matchup many, many times, Shadow Swampert will take out Lickitung in two Hydro Cannons. Non-Shadow Swampert will not. It takes three Hydros. Um, so I don't think Earthquake is the right move there. I think you just go to, like triple Hydro. Uh, but maybe you can farm down at this point. They come back in with Skarmory. They are going to get to farm down here. 
Uh, I have a move. I think it's worth throwing here because the Swamp is low enough I can just farm down. Um, I think they kind of had to shield that one because now I don't think they're going to get to... They just dumped an Earthquake. Um, so I don't think they're going to get to two Hydros there. Yeah. So Glygar, Polarath, probably a bad lead if so I'm going to have to get out into... Uh, end up going to Lickitung, met with the Polyrath. So that seemed fast. Is this Icy Wind or is this Power Punch? Yeah, I was about to say, that seemed fast. Um, which is kind of, which is going to make this interesting because they're going to shield and farm down. Um, now the question is, I can't come Gligar because they're going to have potentially Icy Wind and that boost at Icy Wind is going to kill me. So I kind of have to come in Polyrath and just sacrifice this, essentially. Um, okay, so they're running interesting set. Power Punch and Scald. From a Shadow, it's not a bad idea uh, because a lot of the damage that you get from a Polyrath is from that counter damage. From a Shadow Polyrath is that counter damage. So boosting your Shadow Punches is not is actually kind of smart. Um, so now I have a shield advantage and my game has been lagging so hard. And if you saw right there, I did not get, even though we have the same fast moves, I did not get a fast move there. So they essentially just fast move denied me, which put me behind two from where I should be. That one goes through, so that's fine. Uh, but I'm one behind here, which is kind of a killer. Uh, and now comes the like song. The like song is gonna be pretty tanky. So again, how many this this is the second time I'm gonna to lose to a team that also has Lick Tongue Gligar, right? I think it's a pretty solid combo, Lick Tongue Gligar. Both generally safe. Um yeah, both generally safe in this meta. And both just overall strong Pokemon. So gotta go for the farm. Alright, yeah, this game's over. Okay, I think there's one more battle here. And again, I'm I'm only gonna watch this back after. I, I when I was like testing this microphone, I'm doing this is my first first uh I'm shooting this ahead and then I'm gonna do you've probably already watched, I'm gonna do three more videos for the little holiday cup. So this is my first like test with this microphone and everything here. Um but I know that it was like cutting in and out, so if it, it did that for all these battles uh, for this, these last four days, I pull this. So the last time, if I come here, that I do not bring my actual microphone just to plug in and go. But we'll make do with this for these four videos um, and go from there. I don't think I do get to the dig. Interesting. I didn't think I would get to the dig. I'm sure they didn't either. They probably would have thrown in advance because taking a second dig here is kind of a rough situation to get yourself into. Um. But they're just going to go with one Evers in the back of it. Uh, so I'm not surprised I'm staying in just to throw this Icy Wind. Because Lickitung is just so strong that I'll be able to, um, at this point, just sacrifice it and just go Lickitung, right? Because I now lowered the attack. Lickitung with Lick and Body Slam should just be able to outpace this. I mean, in a general matchup, never mind one that has a lowered attack. So out comes a dig, but like, oof. That does not do much. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm farming up a bit here because I think I want to keep energy for um, whatever comes back in. But I now at this point, I'm going to grab a shield because if they want to keep this energy, which I think they do, I think they're going to try and like reset here. Yeah, not surprising, but I have some energy. This looks kind of like too low. So it doesn't really matter how much energy they have left. Um, snipe here. And I got too much. Yeah. So that is it. Um, I, yeah, I think these three Pokemon work very, very well together just because they generally cover each other's weaknesses and um, they're super safe. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Back to normal tomorrow. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.